Today in the livestock market, cattle was higher. Uh, kind of interesting that we haven't had a higher market when the grains were higher, but everything was up today uh, pretty much. That winter storm is adding some premium to the futures right now. Uh, there is some real concerns about possible death losses or just uh, basic you know, s supply movement uh, disruption. So we're gonna be watching that closely. The CVAL is at 13.9%, uh, so it's off a little bit, but if the market continues to uh, push its way higher, I think that we might see uh, that sea valve start to pop back up again. Uh, the feeders did firm up as well. The demand is strong. Cash is even higher. The futures did start uh, started the market like three dollars higher before kind of selling off uh, towards the end of the day. But even though um, we, you know we're slightly higher for the day, we're still almost four dollars off Monday's low. Uh, 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 yesterday, box beef prices were also up as well, and I think that that's kind of underpinning the market. Uh, for the, uh, the, the beef complex as a whole. Now, hogs today were lower. Futures did give back half of yesterday's gains. Like cash prices kind of stalled out as traders are um, seem to like uh, concerned about the slowdown in supply because some of the plants are gonna be closed for the holiday. That being said, there's still tighter supplies out there that fundamentally has not changed. So the market is showing a little bit of consolidation, but look, we're still at between 117 and 118.50. I mean, that's still a very high. Uh, cash prices were higher, and there is still a lot of trader optimism. So that's something to be watching going forward. The CBOL right now is at 32.5%, which is relatively modest compared to where we have been. But I still suspect that uh, there's still plenty of underlying support in that lean hog market. Thank <laughs> you.